Welcome to This Is Important, a production of iHeartRadio, the show where we talk about what's obviously most critically, crucially important. Today on This Is Important. I tried to pull up to the pub at 7 a.m. and it was packed. There's some hoes in this house. I didn't really want new luggage until I got the vax. Amsterdam fucking rocks. Love Amsterdam, bro. Strap in. Pew, 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 pew. Woo! <laughs> We're coming in so hot, so polychar. Yeah, evidently I'm I'm like coming in out the gate so polycharged, but I don't even realize I was being polycharged. <laughs> You're so bro. Watch out. Watch out, dude. What your ass say? Yeah, you are. You're always polycharged and you don't even know. That's the that's the worst kind of polycharges when you don't even know you're being polycharged, bro. Dude, I don't even right, know right, I'm right, being right. polycharged. Well, explain to me why what I just said is polycharged. You gotta remind me what you just said and then and we can tell you why it's poly charged. <laughs> yeah, man, I got to remember. <laughs> okay, I just said, we were talking about how California, <laughs> uh huh, poly, Ooh. they're saying that there's no, uh, we're going to outlaw gas cars or California's going to outlaw gas cars. Oh, yeah, right, right, right. Uh huh. And then th- th- you were saying some other state was mm-hmm. outlawing electric cars because of all the electricity it's it taking takes. up. And it, And mm-hmm. then what did you say? And what did you say, though? <laughs> and then what did you say? <laughs> what your ass say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you said. Yeah, and I said, uh, well, that I mean, that is true. <laughs> okay. okay. And okay. then what did you say? Then you say? One step further. <laughs> and though. then I said 9-11 isn't real. He said it again. No, that, that wasn't what no, we I did. <laughs> I, I said it can't. The steel can't burn <laughs> with the gas and the. Uh, I don't know. I saw a YouTube video once. Oh damn! That is correct. <laughs> no, and then I said that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> What'd you say? That yeah, everything takes a ton of fucking electricity, no. like the internet. Oh, yes. there it is. So the internet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you said the internet. You said the you internet. Think the- <laughs> and why is that such a big deal to say? You guys uh, came at me like that was so poly charged, dude. I don't think that's. You think the internet takes up all. You said the internet also takes in and a lot of energy and, <laughs> and yeah, that's a bold statement. Yeah, okay. That's a bold big statement. <laughs> Uh, big big swing i don't understand i think you guys are are like (laughs) trying to get me and try to like uh no dude big internet you gotta watch out who you're speaking up against like big internet yeah oh shit big internet takes a lot of energy what's next they lose their subscribers and then Mm -hmm. big internet does what dude you're gonna get shadow banned bro that's the last thing you want yeah. You think Seeker's not going to come after you? I don't give a, I'm so sick of having to post stuff <laughs> and like baby. caring about social media and all, all of it. I'm like, shadow ban me. Make it so it's not even fun. Like when I post something, it gets negative views and then I'll go, okay. And what is shadow banning? I'm done ban with in? this. Shadow ban, I thought, was like when you're banned. Real you're- man of genius. <laughs> Alternate up. title. <laughs> I need someone to remind what shadow banning is. I don't know what it is. I thought that's when they like block what you're outputting and you don't even know it. Oh. Todd on our producing team, editor Todd, just yeah. goes shadow banning. In social media and discussion forums is the administrative practice of making a particular user's post visible only to that user. Yeah. Instead of notifying a user that his mm-hmm. or her user-generated content, UGC, mm-hmm. has yeah, been huh? blocked, the administrator simply prevents anyone else from viewing the user's content. Say it. Oh, yeah. So it's like you're blocked and you don't even know it, baby. You don't even know it. And so, Adam, when you said shadow block me or whatever, ban, did you shadow, shadow ban me? Did you know that that's what it meant? Yeah, that's that's what I assumed that like no one can see your shit and right. you're just posting stuff into an abyss. So you want them to do that to you, but you don't even know. Yes, <laughs> fucking block me. I absolutely but don't then, give a shit about. Wake up! Right, but then you're not talk. But then you're not talking about. <laughs> I don't know. Then you would just stop tweeting or whatever. Yeah, that's right. I just (laughs) want a reason to stop tweeting. 
But why don't you just stop to? Oh, okay, 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 okay. Uh, right. Because you, can, uh, you can't stop tweeting. You know, because I have to for work. You got to promote all the stuff you're doing. You know what I mean? It's part of our jobs now. I think, Adam, I, c- I can't stop yeah. tweeting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Blake, I just did it. I know, I but it. you're bad at impressions, and I'm really good at them. Mm, I'm different. I'm actually. Stop eating. I'm different at impressions. It's a whole because like it's subjective. So uh, yeah, but a lot of people are saying I'm the number one impressionist on this pod. Okay. Whoa, that's a also a very bold statement. Big bold. Uh, yeah, I would say I would say on this pod, uh, <laughs> with four untalented fucks, you are yeah. the the the. The most talented <laughs> at that specific thing. Impressions. Thank you. Right. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> right. Or at least finding like one word that that person would say and repeating Here's- it over and over and over and over. <laughs> <laughs> Mm-hmm. And then just kind of saying that one word over and over again. Yes. Yeah. Dragon heart. <laughs> <laughs> and doing like this, <laughs> doing like the little laugh uh, yeah. or something. Like you are great. Yeah. yeah you're so with the dragon heart. <laughs> yeah. Dragon heart. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I can do impressions of your soundboard and that's maybe about it. Yeah, you are very good at that. <laughs> yeah, that's all I could do is just repeating. I Who act that? like I'm in control of the soundboard sometimes and just do Who the that? cause of diarrhea. Right. <laughs> the cause of that diarrhea. That shit's important. <laughs> that's Wait, pretty good. That one I can't do. <laughs> you did Dragonheart instead of Sean Connery? You, <laughs> what are you? What? Wait. That- that is Sean Connery. That is Sean yeah. Connery. You both. What you want me to say his name? But it's the same voice, right? Yeah, say his name, please. Sean Real Connery. Man <laughs> Do it. Genius. Sean Connery. I've already done <laughs> Sean Connery. The Rock. Do another impression of Sean Connery. Uh-huh. Not Dragonheart. Yeah, let's see it. I want to. I want to see it. <laughs> You know when I said like 9/11 isn't real, I kind of forgot. The only reason I was thinking of that uh, is because Aaron Rodgers just it's uh, it just came out like someone said that they like their first conversation with Aaron Rodgers. What he said, "Do you believe in 9/11?" As if he doesn't Internet. believe in 9/11. <laughs> Honestly, though, pretty good opener. It's like, science. Yeah, icebreaker. <laughs> icebreaker. That's a cool just, first date. Yeah, just to see where someone stands, like just to know, like on what scale of like kooky they are. It, it's yeah. fun. It gets fun right out of the gate, and you you get a nice grasp of who this person is. I guess is is Aaron Rodgers a kook or is he hilarious? He kind of went a wall a little bit. He kind of went he's, a little bit weird. He's a little bit. He's a little bit of a kook. Well, if that's what you're leading with. Uh, well, one of our producers who will go unnamed if she, he, or they um, prefer Them. said he's nuts. He's nuts. Yeah. Yeah, I, I can am. see that. I could see that now. Or does that say his nuts? No, he's nuts. He's nuts. His nuts. I don't know, man. I don't he's know. Nuts. Dude, I just think that we're really seeing like COVID when we were all like locked up, fucked with people, dude. It mm-hmm. really oh, yeah. had lasting yeah. effects. I feel like if you were on, if you're predisposed to believing in any kind of conspiracy theories, like if yeah. you were like on the line going, well, maybe, I don't know, some of it makes sense, yeah. then you just went way down a rabbit hole. Kyle got so quiet. <laughs> Dude, Kyle <laughs> got weird. Dude, Kyle got listening. weird. Kyle got real yeah. weird. Kyle just went like this. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad Kyle's back or hanging around with people, playing pickleball, yes, getting outside. It's been very good for him. Yeah. Mixing it up. Yeah. Well, everybody. Yeah. I mean, yeah, for sure. Cause what? You just were looking at whatever the fuck you could on the internet, right? I, I mean, just that's love- what was going on. You had no window. And hey, dude, and the internet takes so much electricity. I'll say it. I'll say it. it takes a lot. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> Shadow ban. Whoa, whoa, whoa. See, Adam, that's... Whoa, okay. I am afraid to get poly charged. Dude, that's Um, where it starts, dude. I'll tell you from experience, that's where it starts, man. Don't follow that thread, all right? Kyle, what... Go ahead, Durs. Go ahead. I I was just going to say, do you guys remember... Do you believe in (laughs) 9-11? No, do you remember the DVD that was going around called, like, Pocket Change or whatever? And it was like... Excuse me? It was like a 12-minute documentary... That was okay. going around. Somebody at work, when I was an assistant at Bones, gave it to me, and they're like, "You gotta fucking see this." So, what year? Paint the picture. What year is this, yeah. Anders? This is like two thousand two or three. Um, lo- loose change. 
Okay. <laughs> Thank you for painting the picture. Okay. Okay. 2003. <laughs> Gorgeous. And it was like a, a short documentary that was okay. like, had all this footage and all these theories. And was like, this is uh -huh. how like you detonate a building. And it's like, oh. if, a, if a building falls this way, watch the charges going down. And you're like, yeah. And people were like, <laughs> this shit's real. And I go, this is not real. This is crazy. Oh, well, I, I don't know. If, I saw something on YouTube that was like someone like way back in the day when we were uh -huh. living in Orange County. Uh -huh. And they were like, dude, you have to watch this this video. This is probably and they Yeah. And they it was on YouTube and no. they sent it to me. And I watched like five minutes of it. And I'm like, this is, I mean... With the power of editing, you can make anything seem like anything. Exactly. Documentaries. Absolutely. Weren't we saying documentaries should be... Somebody was saying documentaries illegal? should be illegal. Wasn't it, Adam? <laughs> <laughs> I was not. I did not have that stance, but I like it. I... Somebody did. Yeah, no. That's because the way that they spin it, the way that they throw that in there, it's it's super clear. It's super clear. I remember posting about that during the pandemic, being like, watch all this shit, you know, because I was I'm getting real frustrated because it's like <laughs> if you just look at it from a, an editing standpoint and a manipulative standpoint, all of it is forcing you into some direction of yes, feeling. Yeah, you know what I mean? Everything is forcing you into a certain way of thinking. And people were not seeing that. They were definitely not aware. It was super convincing because it, it it brings up things I don't know. I don't know how buildings are detonated, and if it goes through, right. it's done. Then I go, oh, you don't? You're stupid. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't on pump. I didn't have a fucking wrecking ball dropped on my car. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know how things are torn down, and if they tell me that's how it is, I go, all right. Mythbusters. But then at the at the at the end of the day, I go. But yeah, it was actually 9-11 and two planes fucking hit the buildings. Like, right. What are we doing? Right. That happened. <laughs> exactly. Are Why are we deconstructing that? By the way, I can't, I can't wait for the comments. Dude, you <laughs> know, you know, the it's about like, to get idiot. poly charged what in our told? comments. You know, I like the guys until they get poly charged. Dog. I think that's our new thing. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Well, polycharge, yeah, it's tough. Hold it's up. tough to come out of a polycharge session. And by the way, if you think 9-11 was like an inside job, I love that. I love that for you. I love that for you. I love the people you're going to meet. You're going to meet the love of your life. It's a great way to open conversations. We've said this. <laughs> you're going to get invited to an Aaron Rodgers picnic, and it's going to yeah. be probably pretty fun. Dude, I, be, I mean, you know that Aaron Rodgers, his picnics— you know, they're all getting sweaty, playing football, probably because he can't stop. He's addicted. And, you know, you know, he's the type of guy that rubs like crystals on his armpits and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He uses yeah. like natural deodorant. So it's like mad stinky. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, that's OK. That stuff's OK. That's fine. Ugh. You put some crystals on your body. You're down for that? No, dude. Absolutely, it's not okay, Kyle. What's wrong You're with just putting, like, believing in some crystals in the earth stinking. and stuff like that? Isn't well, sure, believe in the crystals, but then you when you go out in public, you're a stinky man, though. But you got to tell me, I don't really know much about rubbing crystals in armpits, so I guess I'm, I'm kind of back and it's, it's just a deodorant. Yeah, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. It's a deodorant that absolutely doesn't work. You're just rubbing rocks onto your armpits. Wait, so Adam, you're you're saying you're all out on charging like crystals and stuff? Yeah, what the hell? You don't believe in crystal power or Do this is same? <laughs> he oh, he only charges them politically. <laughs> Wait, this is nuts though, dude. <laughs> the only thing I'm charged with is poly. Okay, you're you're poly charged, but you're not crystal charged. Oh, okay, I think I see. <laughs> no, I at. I definitely don't believe uh, in. <laughs> The Earth power science? of crystals. Really? Uh, wow. No, Blake. Wow. I, and the fact the, that, that you think I would makes, makes me question <laughs> your knowledge know of you. who I am. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if you know me at all. I just think it's, you got to give it time. I think you just have to give it time. I would say in the next like six months, you're going to. Friendship. Dude, I, hey, I'm not opposed to it. If I'm on my deathbed and they're like, hey, he will not be healed. Cover me in crystals. <laughs> fucking throw just <laughs> no just dude, fucking pour an aquarium rabble on my head, head. <laughs> just fucking cover me in that shit if yeah. that's just if that's the hail mary but just if it's if it's like if i'm 
that's what I'm saying. So why not grab a little bit of the Hail Mary now? Why not just throw a little Hail Mary on you every once in a while for shits and giggles? Because I'll just go to the doctor and shit. I love the idea of we've got Adam on his deathbed and we're all just covering him in different rocks. Mm -hmm. He's like, <laughs> he gets crushed. Yeah. He, uh, they're like, well, he was actually doing fine. He was just going to be like. <laughs> crippled or whatever but uh, yeah his friends murdered him by dumping one ton of crystals <laughs> you <laughs> crushed him trust us no you need more jade bro Just <laughs> dude I found the biggest amethyst rock <laughs> in California it's going on him <laughs> put that amethyst up his ass real quick it's gonna help it's gonna help Man. it's gonna help oh, it's gonna help <laughs> Keep going on this. I don't know anything about crystals, so like I'm, well, me neither. I want to jump in, but I, I dude, don't know. No, they're the, sick. When when people say that it heals you, obviously not real. But uh, <laughs> but that rock has been around for a long, long time. It's got some powers. It's got some powers. Exactly. Thank you, Kyle. Thank you, Kyle. What rock has been mm. around a long time? Any oh. rock. Any rock that. Any rock, dude. I know. I, that's what I'm saying. You're Fucking... like, that rock's been around. Any rock. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It doesn't have. Things that have been around a long time don't just have powers. I'm not going to go out and eat handfuls <laughs> of dirt because you're like, okay, it's been here a long time. Mm -hmm, that's just. Yeah. It's a bagel. I mean, I just did a, I just did a, a mineral bath up in Calistoga, mm. like mm. straight out of the earth, and mm. that shit felt good. Drugs make me cool. And what is that? What's a mineral? What's a mineral? You know what? I don't really know much about it, but I know mm. they said it was connected to the earth. Was it mineral mm. water? Mm. Yeah, it was like a mineral like um, spring. It's like a mineral hot spring, basically. Uh, uh -huh. And it fucking felt mm. so goddamn good, you guys. Like. Sure. Yeah, I don't doubt that. Yeah. That's called the bath, Kyle. <laughs> I bet. Yeah, I bet it feels good. I bet mud baths and mud baths feel good. Like that shit. P you know, pizza also feels good. Yeah. Hot showers is important. Good. But I'm talking about the minerals, the minerals inside of it. And that's what I'm talking about. It made me feel good. Okay. What are the okay. what do the minerals do? What's like the yeah. Well, your body has a lot of minerals up in it, right? Mm. So, okay. Okay. like, I would imagine they're connecting to these crystals and uh, and rocks and stuff. <laughs> Real men of genius, <laughs> you know? Um, you know? Sure. Yeah, I get it. That's an answer. I actually don't know, Blake. Do you know what the science of the rocks are? <laughs> <laughs> don't throw it to me, brother. <laughs> I'm running the board. He knows punk rock. I bet. I bet to the like. Uh, Anna is posting in the comments that uh, spring baths provide a variety of benefits to the skin. Sure. I do the for skin? the skin exfoliate <laughs> that and kind of thing. We're back to deodorant. We're back to deodorant though. But that being said, if you rub it on your armpits, right. you can tell if it works or not because you can tell if you're stinky or not. Right. And the you... people that I know that have rubbed <laughs> rocks on their armpits. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Maintain the stink. I mean, you're right. right. The proof Science. is in the pudding. The proof is in the pudding. <laughs> the it proof is in so their bad. stench. So you can smell it. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yeah. That's an easy. <laughs> it's easily disproved. But are you sure they're putting rocks in their armpits to stop the stench? Or is it for another reason? That's what. They're not putting rocks. It's the it's the crystal roll on. You wet it and then you do this. Oh. It's the crystal roll on thing. Yeah. Yes. Oh, well, so you do know a lot about it, Durs. I, oh. I said earlier, my brother used it for a couple of years and Wait. he smelled horrible. <laughs> yeah, for sure he did. Like just yeah. straight European, full on. God. For sure. For sure. I don't know what y'all are talking about. What, are you talking about like the, you put it in like the freezer and you crystal, like I've seen the things you like you put in the freezer and you like roll your face. No, no, no. It makes no. the swelling go down. Yeah, that's different. What? That's These just like, a, a metal device that you put in, and then it's cold, and you rub it on. No, it's not metal. Well, there it's, is a, there's it's like a stone rose quartz there's a stone or something. Oh. Yeah. Ooh. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Adam perked Ooh. up. Adam is Ooh. six months away from loving rocks, <laughs> yeah. dude. Uh, He's six months that. away. <laughs> yeah, you're so close to loving rocks, dude. They're sick, <laughs> and they're worth a lot. People will pay money for some freaking crystals and rocks, dude. It's true. Yeah. You can go on rock hunts. You can go out and like go with a guide and a oh, little dude. hammer. Hey, I know. And, Kyle? 
Are you- I bet you can. I bet yeah. I can yeah, walk you- out the door right now and go on a rock hunt. Dude, dude. Yeah, dad. Thank you for letting me know I can. Dude, that's that's a thing that you like trick a seven-year-old into thinking is fun to like keep them bu- busy. Yes. When you're like on vacation somewhere and you're like, hey, go find different colored rocks and show me. Yeah, but no, you can break them open. Go hunt. You're on a rock hunt. You're hunting for rocks. <laughs> you go, you're on a rock hunt. It's so Whee! exciting. Go f- see if you can find a green one. Right. Come back in six hours. Nothing has made me f- acknowledge yeah. like that I'm old harder than like, you know how you like buy like nice rocks for your house to do like landscaping? Like nice, like nice, like white rocks. Sure. Yeah. De- yes. Yeah. Sure. In like a backyard or whatever. Yes, yes, yes. Beautiful, beautiful boulders. Do you remember when you were kids and and you would roll up to your neighbor and you would just take those fucking rocks and scrape them against the sidewalk or throw them or like try to break them open and shit? Absolutely. Yeah. That must have drone that drove them insane, dude. Yeah. Those rocks cost fucking dough. Yeah, yeah, but but I didn't have any rich friends that their parents paid any amount of money for any rock. So the rocks that were just there. Yeah, that was not a thing. In my neighborhood, at least, were just rocks, there. gravel, or just rocks. We had a different kind of uh, climate, I believe. You know, there weren't yeah. many rock things happen in the Midwest. As far I, I'm the same way. We we had grass. Well, we had a, a little Why? rock in our front yard. We had like a little rock. It was like a rock garden, but essentially, it was just gravel that we put there so like weeds didn't grow uh, right mm. right yeah uh. like pea, like a pea gravel is that what we're talking about here like a little all day long i was just taking it and pe- throwing it and smashing them mm, uh. to bits it was it was great yeah. i'm saying there were like the the like quartz rocks and the more you like broke them the more they looked like kind of crystally this is important cheap quartz but it was like I know, I know what you're talking about, Blake. Yeah, yeah, and then you break it open. You're like, dude, I found diamonds. And if you're joining us now, we're on minute seven of Rock Talk. <laughs> hey, this rocks, bro. That's the rock hunt, uh-huh. dude. If we want to talk about talks, I'm getting a new set of luggage, homie. <laughs> oh, God. oh, good. Oh, good. Wow, the huge pivot. Ramoa, Ramoa. This is oh, this God. is where I'm at in my life. For uh-huh. birthday and Christmas now, I get oh, that God. upgrade, oh, get them God. that luggage, dude. And why Ramoa and also it's, what is that? It's that hard. It's the metal case luggage. <laughs> Have you seen it? Uh-huh. It's Silver? great. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's like yeah, metal. <laughs> mm-hmm. Awesome. I mean, not not like the. I mean, silver in color, not in like its actual silver. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's like Although, a metal like traveling case, okay. dude. I'm gonna yeah. look like I'm uh like I'm a like a roadie or something. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, it's Get like a, like a. Okay, that's it. End of end of. Yeah, or like. Uh, Are you finished? <laughs> um. I just caught. I just transitioned into luggage talk. Actually, if we can go back to that, I just I just switched my head. It took a second, but did you say it's a metal uh, luggage Adam, box? Is that what you said? I can't be here for this. <laughs> did you say it's metal, Adam? I, I was thinking about rocks, and now it's here. Yeah, dude. Uh, yeah, oh, we're still talking about this. Yes, I uh, I took my hooded sweater off and I brought it back. And yeah, uh, yeah, it it's back. metal. Look it up. It's it's the shit, dude. Ramoa. <laughs> okay, tight. Yeah. Wait, it's it's a little pricey, but I think it's gonna be worth it. Why is it the shit? Uh yeah, the lifetime guarantee. That's huge. That's huge. That's like that's like what does that mean? Yeah. Your lifetime or the lifetime of the product? That's great. Is it? Oh, I'm I'm assuming yes. it's my lifetime. Yeah, lifetime guarantees are great, dude. With the lifetime of the product, and then it's it's guaranteed. Dude, how do you know they don't have train killers that are like <laughs> li- he's a ba- he just asked for a new suitcase. We gotta send somebody to kill him. He just got five thousand dollars worth of suitcases to kill him. Wipe him out. <laughs> that's that's the show. Wipe him out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Send um, that plane into a tower. Ramoa. Plan, right. plan 16. <laughs> Dude, have you checked out? Because I got some, I got I got a couple uh, zippers that have popped off. I might be in the market for some new luggage soon. And uh, Have you checked how many Ramoa bags were on the flight that ran into the tower? <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> Fuck. Well, you might want to check. What if that was big Ramoa? That we're going to find out it wasn't Bin Laden. <laughs> Or the oh, Taliban God. at all? It was big By the Ramoa. Way, there's no way to say that <laughs> no. it was. There's no way to say that it wasn't. Exactly. Thank you, Anders. There's literally there's no way to say. 
Thank you. Hey, do your own research. <laughs> Even if there weren't any Ramoa luggage on the on the uh, planes, mm-hmm. allegedly, why weren't there? Why weren't there? Oh, yeah. oh good. Ex- yeah. Oh, that's interesting. That's interesting. Why weren't they? Good. See? Huh. That's hmm. interesting. You got to have your take. <laughs> you got to have your take. And it's got to be new. All right. Samsonite. <laughs> Big mm. Samsonite. Mm. <laughs> it's mm. all fucking. It's the. It's my bag, baby. <laughs> I didn't really want new luggage until I got the Vax. Interesting. Huh. That's interesting. Huh. Oh. Huh. That is interesting. Get now. We're just huh. blowing jokes from me. Get the Vax, <laughs> and suddenly huh. I want to buy luggage. <laughs> Ramoa. Let's not. Hmm. <laughs> No comment. (laughs) No, man, it happens. Wait, have any of you bros been on the fucking World Cup train or what? Nah, dude. Oh, (laughs) no, not at all. Absolutely. Not not. at all. Not even a little bit, dog. Yeah. Uh, Let me guess, Blake, you're all in. Well, kind of. (laughs) Yeah. Blake, uh-huh. the other day, he goes, were you watching this game? I'm like, I'm writing our movie. He's like, big up, was that, big up, it's okay. Was that at like eight in the morning? He's like, I'm at the bar watching it, yeah. I mean, I tried to pull. It was like uh, 11.30 or something. I tried to pull up to the pub at 7 a.m. and it was packed. Yeah, Red Lion's been going off. Admittedly, that is fun. I do like that. Uh, it's bonus St. Patrick's Day. Is an easy way for a, an, an alcoholic to yeah. get his fix in and have people in his... That's all I was thinking about. <laughs> yeah, I'm here for soccer. In his life, be like, it's okay. It's it's World Cup. It's right. a guy who's never watched soccer a day in his life. Uh, I'm just learning the game. <laughs> yeah, right. he has to go to the, he has to go to the bar at 7 a.m. Yeah, he has I do to. love the idea of them being like, "Whoa, you got here early, huh?" Like for yeah, for, for soccer. Uh, to USA, <laughs> definitely here for soccer. I'm gonna I'm getting into golf now because of that very reason. I think it's like a fun excuse to. <laughs> uh, I mean, Blake has been going down this road. It's a fun excuse to go and drink, and everyone in your life, people just respect golf. Golf has <laughs> golf is having a moment. They're having a moment right now. Perfect. Well, he's golfing. It's fine that he's uh, drunk at nine a.m. You right. know, right? It makes sense. He had a he had a rough first nine. Okay, yeah. <laughs> like this is <laughs> it's totally okay. This is normal. But the, the main thing, well, for anybody who you guys aren't watching uh, the World Cup, but a couple weeks Not ago I. now, USA <laughs> got got knocked out by uh, the Netherlands. Uh huh. But mm. for my homies, my Scandinavian bro and my homie who's been in Germany for a bit, dude, what's up with fucking the Netherlands? Dude, uh, what do well you guys said, know like, about the Netherlands? <laughs> yeah, well stated, well asked. Those dudes are weirdly. Like sexy, sexy people. What? Oh, what? it's going down this, but don't. Oh, a part okay. of me wants to just uh, <laughs> let let you have this moment, and then maybe move back uh, to golf. Yeah, yeah. Keep keep firing, Blake. Okay. So I'm like, they're like tall. They're like they're. So it's no. Set the stage. Set the stage. It's seven. A, it's seven a.m. You got your first pint. So I'm watching the U.S. It's it's 7 a.m. I'm fucking, I'm already kind of like, kind of yeah. a little blurry, bro. I'm yeah. like, Bloody I'm looking buddy. up at the TV. And are we still in our boxer briefs? What are we wearing here? <laughs> no, I'm in pub. I'm in public. I'm at the pub. In pub. <laughs> I, didn't a- I didn't ask where you were. Are you still in your underwear, though? I roll up in my bathrobe. I'm like, uh-huh. hey, baby, I got a couple Bud Lights in me. By the way, somebody's going to do that and be like, it's still the morning, right, guys? I'm in my bathrobe. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I like that person. Dude, but I'm looking. It's strict. I don't know anything about the Netherlands, but, like, they're all, like, tall Nordic people. But then they're also... They're diverse. They're diverse looking as well. Like there's some like really handsome, like not white people on the team. Yeah, that can happen, Blake. Uh, Non-whites can be attractive. Okay. I guess, I guess it's, I guess. (laughs) But then their names are like Von Ludwig. Make a grandma. (laughs) Dude, Dude. I'm just like, I know nothing about this country at all. Yes, you do. Uh, Amsterdam. (laughs) Amsterdam fucking rocks. Love Amsterdam, bro. Yes. That's what I'm saying. Where is this place? Well, so they're so yes. So I'm like half 
I'm half Dutch myself. Amsterdam kicks booty. Or 30% or whatever the fuck. Can we see that half? Yeah, dude. We're really hot as shit. <laughs> I'll admit it. Yes, yeah, we're look really at really hot group of people. The Netherlands is Holland, correct? I don't know. They're Dutch. Uh, they're Holland. Then also, like, why are their uniforms orange? That's not even their flag at all. There's no orange. Re they're, like, in all orange, but their flag is in orange. The flag is blue, white, and orange. Wait, is it? Yeah. <laughs> Real man of genius. Blake, you know nothing about this, but then you're you got a high a highly charged take uh. against their uniforms, bro. You know nothing about this place. Holland, the Netherlands, these are the Dutch. Uh, they do have a lot of names. I'll, I'll, I'll give you that. But like, dude, um, yeah, these are the people who colonized South Africa. That's what I figured. No, see, right. their their flag is red, white, and blue, dude. There is no orange in it. That's orange. It, no, it's red. Well, this is weird. This is weird. I'm hooked. Dude, I'm telling you, they're like, they keep you confused. They keep you confused. The royal family is the House of Orange, says our manager. Says our manager, Isaac, and I just don't trust that. Yeah. What the hell does that even mean? Wow, I'm hooked. He has orange hair, so I think maybe that's... Dude, they're weird. I'm saying I like it. They keep you on your toes. I'm just like... They, they keep you on your toes because they're so goddamn tall. <laughs> Exactly. Uh, if, <laughs> if you've ever flown whatever the fucking South African Airlines or something like that. I haven't. I, I, okay, so I'm 6'3". I get on this plane going to South Africa for my honeymoon, and you everyone is taller than me. It was fucking weird. I'm telling you, I think they're like a superior country. There were like, tw there were more than 12 people that were like taller than 6'6". Six, six. You think that, wait, Blake, do so... You're saying you think that they're the superior race. Is that basically what you just said? I said country. I think they're like, they seem like they have everything figured out. So they, they and let's go back to where you're like, and they don't all look white. Some of them look non-white. Yeah, those are people who've come from other countries. Um, it's a melting pot. Yeah, exactly. The world is the world. Well, so you think they're better than America, dude? Blake's like, none. And and maybe at soccer, but also Americans just don't really give that much of a shit about soccer. So Yeah, our best athletes are playing football. With with European countries, usually it, it's not as diverse as what I'm think When I envision the Netherlands, Dutch people, for some reason I think of like wooden shoes and like... It's 2022, bud... I just think I'm I'm hyped. Yeah, yeah I'm Blake, shouting out Dutch I think, people. Dude, <laughs> they <homies>. rock. <laughs> yes, bro. In Amsterdam, if we are, I still. Yeah, it doesn't come across that way at all. But great. <laughs> I'm still unclear. Are we talking about Amsterdam? Because I can get behind Amsterdam. I love that place. Okay. I didn't even realize that Amsterdam's in the Netherlands. Blake, next time if if I go. If I go, uh, yes, it seems like you don't know a lot about this country that you're so right. hyped on. Uh, <laughs> I thought it was, I thought it's where they went yeah. in Stranger Things. I thought it was Netherlands. Oh my God. <laughs> That's the nether regions. I'm so lost. <laughs> Next time when I, if I go back to Germany to shoot another season of Bumper in Berlin, streaming now on Peacock. Ow. Mm -hmm. He's the best. You have to come and visit, dude, because it seems like you. Big, biggest show ever in the history of Peacock. Go ahead. Ow. True, biggest biggest comedy launch in the history of Peacock. That's huge. We love it. I love it. You have to come visit because uh, you're right. Admittedly, when I I've never been to Germany before, I didn't know what to expect. I expected to see some people in Lederhosen. Yeah, right. I expected to see mm -hmm. some people eating giant pretzels. Mm -hmm. Yes, right. thank you. Really saw none of that. Yeah. Oh, I saw some big Bavarian pretzels in Bruges. Mm, interesting. Uh -huh. That being said, uh, they did. You had to seek that stuff out. You had to like go to the pretzel place to like naked, get it. It's grandma. not just like everywhere. <laughs> naked grandma. But that being yes. said, the beers were right. enormous everywhere you went. <laughs> Massive. So that naked. that holds up. So you're gonna you're gonna love. <laughs> yeah. I know. Yeah. I need to. I need. Not everyone looks German. You're like some people strikingly like what you imagine. A German to look like little tiny glasses. Yes, leather. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, dude. Lots of lots of cool leather. <laughs> the leader hosen, dude. <laughs> for me, for me, if you say talk about a German, it's it's like skinny neck, mm -hmm. short thin hair, and mm -hmm. then like little tiny mm -hmm. like 
uh, mechanical looking glasses uh, and then just one color pants and shirt. Oh, monochrome. Mm. Monochromatic, sleek. Monochromatic. Well, I'm excited to go somewhere besides Berlin because Berlin is such like a metropolis like it's like considers itself and it is it's like a cool hip city uh -huh. so people there are like doing are on some other shit like it was n there was a lot of like bdsm stores pizza, pizza. Or in the neighborhood and we are in a very very nice neighborhood oh yeah i'm listening like it was just very like and you would see men in like assless chaps and shit <laughs> yeah Wee that's right this is good like you saw, you saw that several times, like through through my three months or however long I was there. Uh, so yeah, so sex for sex sex forward, man. I'm into it. Sex forward, <laughs> yeah. So I'd like to go to some other like Zurich, German places where it's not that isn't the ca the case. I'm sure it's very normal. Like Zurich, what have you heard about other places? I don't even know. I, let's try. Can like, we name? Can we name five German cities? Can we? <laughs> can we? Hamburg, Hamburg, Berlin, Zurich, Munich. Yes, Berlin, Hamburg, Munich. Um, you said Berlin, right? You said Berlin. Look at us, Dusseldorf. Dusseldorf. Did you already yeah. say Berlin? Uh, and uh, just throwing out um, Johannesburg. Oh, uh, what? Which one did I? Johannesburg. This is it. I mean, uh, where where Porsches built? Um, Porsche, Hamburg. No, no, no. I <laughs> feel like I know that place, but yeah. <laughs> so, so we got... <laughs> what was it, four? We got four. <laughs> we got four. That's pretty good. That's a B. <laughs> yeah. We got four. We, I, but we, I said, can we get five? But did I make up Dusseldorf? No, Dusseldorf is a city. <laughs> yeah. Okay, good. But is it okay, in good. Germany? <laughs> That's a Harry Potter character, bro. <laughs> right, Hasselhoff. <laughs> God damn. Dude. Uh, yes, that's a, that's a house. I want to be in... I, are you Gryffindor? Or you Dusseldorf, <laughs> or, or you Hamburg? <laughs> Where don't they make Porsches in like Stumpfland or some shit like that? I, I thought Porsche was Italian. I did too no. for years, but they're German. Well, I know nothing about Europe. I'm an idiot. I know nothing yeah. about anything. I'm a dumb idiot. I hate myself. <laughs> yeah, it seems like you don't know anything, dude. Well, have you ever oh, been? Blake. Have you ever been to Europe, Blake? Have you been? I have been to. Oh, I saw. Oh, I saw you in Italy. I saw you in Italy. Stuttgart. Thank you. Um, wait. That's right. Stuttgart. Uh, do we know where the Netherlands is? That's what I'm saying. This is why I'm wondering if we're talking about Amsterdam. Yes, in, it is. In, it is uh, west of Germany. Amsterdam. West. And are we talking about mm -hmm. Amsterdam? West of Germany. And and do we know <laughs> what west means? <laughs> Yeah, bro. They're like I know we're never yeah. Never eat soggy <laughs> waffles. Wait, I thought France was shredded wheat. Shredded wheat. France? <laughs> yeah, shredded wheat. Thank you. I thought France was west of um Germany. I'm pulling up a map. <laughs> oh god, this is so easy to look at a map. I'm but a yes, Germany ass. and then I I believe France is just <laughs> south Southwest of Germany. Southwest. <laughs> yes. And is that where Southwest is based? The airliner? And then below that is uh, Italy. <laughs> and north of Germany is like Switzerland and... Dankeschön. And that <laughs> shit. Dankeschön, <laughs> yes. Don't this shame, sucks. Man. I'm sad. I know. We're really dumb. I'm sad how little of Europe I've been to. It's just it's just depressing me. Well, it, it, that was a crazy because uh, I also was invited on that trip. That was a crazy. <laughs> To, and I couldn't I couldn't swing it because yeah. uh, you guys went to Italy to visit Kyle when he was shooting a uh, murder mystery. Yes, I did. Yep, yep. You went for like Blake did. I did. I did not. One of the greatest decisions Th of my life. Three days. Yeah, Durs wasn't. You went for like. Didn't you go for like three days? Uh, at least it was like a week. I thought it was like I thought it was like seven days or something like that. Maybe a week. Think I'm about. It was a quick trip. I will say that. Uh, oh, well, I think maybe then I had something else because because I, I was looking because Isaac was like, I think you should go. And I'm like, I have, I had I think I had something else and would have had to go there. And it was good, like two days and then turn around and come back. And I'm like, well, that seems miserable. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a old man of genius. Because it, it does kick you in the, like you think that the. Uh, wow, dude. The jet yeah. lag, the time difference. Yeah. The jet lag isn't going to kick your ass. It does right. fuck you up. No, it fuck. 
It fucks you up. It's not going to fuck me up. And then it just does, dude. Yeah, it mm-hmm. fucks you up. You get there and you're just like angry at stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're like, ah, fucking. Yeah, that trip was fucked. I had to do that like four times before we started shooting. It was like just going back and forth and mm-hmm. doing that. That trip mm-hmm. was nuts. Oh, my God. That's fucking cool, though. Did it? Mm. Where were we? We were. In, I saw you in Como, right? You were up in Como. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Lake Como, the de- delightful place. That sounds just fun and cool, dude. It was amazing. It was amazing. <laughs> it was <laughs> I just threw up, dude. Sorry, I've been at a few World Cup games this morning. <laughs> oh man, it was out. Ow. Shout um, out Brazil. Yeah, Como was nice, dude. Um, uh, yeah. Are you guys watching season two of White Lotus? It takes place in. Not yet. I wanna. I wanna it, start. I, w- I watched the first one or first two. I think. Yeah. It takes place in Italy. The the homegirl uh, Aubrey is killing it. She's she's really having a moment. Yeah. Dude, she's so good. She's so oh, great. good. She's really the only fully fleshed out person in the pilot. I would say. Okay. Okay. Yes, well, dude, yeah. To me, she's the one who I go, oh, I get exactly who she is. Everyone else, I'm still kind of like, who are they? What are those to do? It's a wild show. It's a great season. I actually love it. There's some hoes in this house. It is a really good season. It's uh, it's yeah. the horniest season of television. And I think it's so horny. Oh, it's hot? Oh, my God. So much fucking, so much. Oh. It's hot. Mm-hmm. I think we, I think our show, Workaholics. <laughs> Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> used to have that title the horniest show on tv because yeah. every episode yeah. was just about us cranking down finding yeah. different porno. ways to jerk mm-hmm. off porno yeah it was all uh-huh. <laughs> guided by porno uh webcam girls <laughs> one time there was a girl yeah yeah uh yeah. but this this is this is us t- taking the crown <laughs> it was three guys being <laughs> horny together the, and and they're doing it everyone's fucking guys are fucking <laughs> girls are fucking mm. girls are fucking it's well that sounds steamy i would say that this sounds steamy while workaholics it's steamy af was horny those are two separate things like oh no this is yeah. This is also horny though. Fair enough. There's there's some Yeah, there's some horny characters. Yeah, there's some horny characters. There's some really horny characters. Oh yeah, the uh, the dad from uh New York or whatever. But if they have if they're actually going of course, you have to be horny to be steamy. Dude, What's you this? know everybody Jersey you gotta keep watching because everybody gets really horny. Yes, Chris from Sopranos, Michael Imperioli. The Amadeus dude. What is his name? What did you guys all say? What's going on? No, 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 not Mike. Chris from... No, he's talking Abra- F. Abram or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what the F stands for. Ha- <laughs> from the Mozart Ooh. movie. From yeah. Amadeus. Um, I- yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I'm telling Adam. He didn't hear you say Amadeus. Moli- Moliere? Solier? Oh, you got to watch it. I don't I don't know. He's never even seen that shit anyways. I've never seen that. You got to see. <laughs> it's one of the best movies. Amadeus is off the chain, dude. It's so fucking good, dude. Yeah, but it's not as good as season two of White Lotus, dude. And I'm watching that, so. <laughs> it's so much better. Allegedly. <laughs> yes, sir. Is it as, okay, is Amadeus, okay, tell me. No, Jersey, you got to keep watching. It's actually hornier. It's actually <laughs> hornier. <laughs> is it steamier? Is it steamy? You are because that's the question. Is it hornier than season two? You've only seen two episodes. I'm telling you, the whole thing, the whole yeah. move, the whole movie is about how horny Amadeus is. And really, how this old fucking conductor's like, how is he getting away with this? And everyone's like, because he's uh. awesome. He's awesome. He's yeah. better than you, so he gets to like run around squeezing girls' booties. Oh, mm. uh, very horny. Yeah, but does he get to? Uh, no, 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 no spoilers, please. No, 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 no spoilers, please. Hardcore butt fuck. S- spoiler alert. <laughs> Another man, like they get to do in White Lotus, dude. Wait, what, Adam? What? I haven't. S- oh, there's hardcore butt fucking, dude. Why are you really gonna naked grandma me? Don't do that, please. I'm in the middle of watching it. <laughs> you don't know who butt fucks who. <laughs> You don't know yeah. who both books too. I can figure it out. That was a big drop right there, Adam. That was a big know. drop. No, no. <laughs> no, dude, that was weeks ago, by the way. And Wait, stop. Just stop. Just stop. It was weeks ago. Oh, you know what I really like about White Lotus? Though? I'm like super hyped that I'm, I'm not binging it. It was like binging fucked up a lot of shit. Mm-hmm. Like, I was just thinking about this last night. What the fuck, man? Like, I, it's a naked bin- grandma. I, I really enjoy... 
I really enjoy the naked grandma of <laughs> <laughs> of, the, of it comes out once a you week. Heard. You talk Dude. about it to other people, so you're like, "Did you yes. see that episode?" Mm-hmm. You yep. break it down, Dude. You yes, I. I, I'm my dumbass like goes on Twitter mm-hmm. and checks yep. like fucking White Lotus and looks at other people like they're trying to figure it out as well and I'm like oh that's a good theory and shit it's fucking fun mm. TV is yes. fun that way mm. yes it is when naked it's like grandma. a show like this that <laughs> naked grandma when it's a show like this that like really the way it just unfurls like a naked grandma <laughs> I'm trying to think of what other shows like kept people <laughs> guessing week to week was it like every Lost? show did Lost? right. Every show did, dude. <laughs> yeah, every show did. Historically, <laughs> historically, the Mary Tyler Moore show was a whodunit uh, that still yeah. has met no match. You were on the same schedule. That was the good thing about it. That's the good thing. Sorry. Kyle's talking about the will they, will they, won't they of it. Yeah, I'm talking <laughs> water cooler. Like, we're... We got a whole week before we see the next episode. Like, what do you think? Who? This is what's sick about White Lotus is they start each season with, like, a murder, right? So you're automatically hooked. You're watching the whole time, like, who is going to die? Well, a death, not necessarily a murder. Sure, sure. Someone is dead. So you're yeah. watching the whole time, like, yeah, who is, is about to die? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's cool. Um, it keeps yeah. you hooked. Jersey, exactly. did you not know that? Jersey, yeah, you're rolling Is your this eyes. Is so like what, a naked you grandma to you? You don't you like that what? device? It's To me, I'm just like, you're saying, I, what I love about elevators is that they go up and down. Pizza, like, pizza. yes, this is the whole point of the show is that you don't no, know who did the murder. You want to know what's fucked up? Season one. And you're like, I love how you don't know who did the murder. And like, yes, that's the whole point. Here's the thing. Season one, I missed the first 10 minutes, I didn't know that that was part of the show. Mm. Season one, I watched without even knowing that someone was supposed to die. What and do you I was mean? hooked. Well, it is a fun, admittedly, it's a fun vibe the admittedly, show is Adam, because Adam, it is. About this, please. I would like to admit something. <laughs> uh, <laughs> show us your naked grandma. <laughs> It's, it feels it feels like you're on vacation. So even if you don't know that someone dies, mm-hmm. you, it does. It's that it sends me back. You're able to. Uh, that's why movies and shows that take place in exotic locales always crush. Yeah. Because even if they're just pretty good, wish fulfillment, bro. Wish fulfillment. <laughs> Yeah, it's just it, people are like, "Oh fuck, that sounds awesome." I wish I was there it's right not, now. Yeah, um, I, I I like I'm that so this season so far literal. hasn't had as many like kind of pointless and dumb shots of like the ocean to like segue to the next scene. Well, it was COVID. It was COVID. They have those though. They don't seem as hammy. They were kind of mm. like hammy in the first one, where it was like, "Well, sure." Now they they have the they have like a thousand extras. You know what I mean? Like they could show like a busy street of people moving around and bustle, hustling and bustle. Right. It wasn't just like a wave splashing. Uh, but the music to me. Yeah, and I think it was during COVID. They're like, "Just shoot the goddamn wave again." We have yeah. nothing. <laughs> the music was the music of the first one was fantastic. Yeah, the music is so good. And season two, I was like, oh, where's the music? And then it really comes on strong. And like to me, not to like undercut anything else about the show, the music Mm -hmm. is like, the music is the star of the show for me. It's like a naked grandma. Oh, the music. It's Amadeus. It's Amadeus. And (laughs) it's really good. What's the name of your, what's the name of your luggage? Ramo- Ramoa. It's a Ramoa. Jason Ramoa. <laughs> yeah, and now let's rewind and start. It's the Ramoa luggage of the show mm. for me. Mm. Um, yeah. You're a fucking disaster, my guy. Yeah, Ramoa, send me some luggage, man. That shit is expensive. Uh, yeah. But here's, yeah. but Adam, here's what's crazy. Okay. It's, 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 I'm sure it's expensive. But Yo, then man. when you like stack it against like Louis trunks, you're like, mm. oh, this is fine. Because Louis trunks are, Louis? are like $10,000. Like, yeah. a Louis, like a Louis Vuitton trunk. And that's a trunk. That's like a steam, like a real steamer trunk. What's like a steamer a, trunk? You're getting on the Titanic. And you yeah, got you, you to go quick because you got to drop a steamer. Oh, those are hip, though. I'm kind of about that. I, I think that would be cool to have. Some kind sure. of a trunk. Yeah, but then it says Louis Vuitton all over it. 
No, yeah, I agree. I don't want that. I I, I would be all about steamers. Yeah. Uh, like, I want to take a hot steamer onto a plane. <laughs> sure. But I don't want uh-huh. it to say Louis Vuitton. That shit's bitch made, uh. homie. Mm-hmm. Oh, dude, sure. me too. <laughs> steamer. Hey. Hot. Hot. Steamy action. Na- naked grandma. <laughs> naked grandma. It really isn't. But uh, of course there's the all over print, but there's there's uh-huh. a more subtle Louis Vuitton trunks. Like, mm. but those are this is luggage ridiculously trunk? expensive. Well, Adam, you Adam, you made your choice. You got life, uh, it's a lifetime guarantee, right? So you You can't yeah. get out. That's what it is. That's what it is. Yeah. You're in it for life. Well, I haven't gotten it yet. I'm still on, I'm still in the market. Oh, luggage oh, you haven't got it. Oh. You haven't, oh. you haven't oh. clicked so This is a Christmas endeavor that I think I might treat myself <laughs> to some sweet, sweet lug. Oh. It's an endeavor? So. Yeah, it's <laughs> Christmas. Is, uh, this is what I'm going <laughs> to... Some people have Christmas lists. Some people have Christmas endeavors. <laughs> Demands. <laughs> well, I hope your endeavors come true. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, well, I wish you well on your I wish you well on your endeavor. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna get myself something nice, dude. You know you're getting old when like I'm looking forward to buying myself <laughs> the fucking ten thousand dollars worth of luggage. Right. <laughs> that shit's important. Luggage talk. I'm gonna click on it. I wanna yeah. see what we're doing here. Should I oh, just go on? It here is expensive. Go. What did I get? I just got two new pieces, but I went Samsonite, bro. <laughs> God, I'm a. I can't believe I'm allowing this, this luggage shock. <laughs> I went Samsonite. I went two blue hard case Samsonite. Simple Simon. Oh, dude, this two tone, Kyle. This is all you. How do I drag this link into the fucking <laughs> chat? Throw it at me, buddy. Throw it at me. I hate that. This is a nightmare. This is a fucking <laughs> dude. Luggage talk is back, Blake. Okay, so everybody at home, I'm sending Kyle this like well, s- like mm. aluminum like carry on size luggage. Ooh. The cause <laughs> of diarrhea. <laughs> That's black, and then it's got like uh, oh what wow. Else? When you go to like uh, Alaska, yeah. it's got the goodbye. Yeah, it's it's got the northern lights effect. The northern lights effect, aurora boreal. Oh god. Oh, dude, this is the aurora. Uh, it's the aurora borealis. The aurora borealis, dude. Look at that. Cheesy, corny. Yeah, admittedly, <laughs> corny. I looked. I looked at that and thought it was corny. Ugly. <laughs> you thought it was what? Naked what? Thought it was not even a naked grandma, fully clothed grandma. Uh huh. But <laughs> yeah, you don't dude. think this rings? This rings true for Kyle. for Kyle. This is a Kyle bag. Yeah, Durs, Durs, you nailed it. Durs yeah. has always been s- the cri- This is the crystal of. <laughs> yes, Kyle luggage. would try to pick up this suitcase and rub it against his armpits to uh, quit smelling. Uh-huh. Yeah. I would definitely be proud when I saw this thing coming down the luggage carousel. I'll tell you that uh. much. I'd be happy to pull this thing up and say, Is excuse that- me, that's mine. Mm. They're like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'd be very proud to be in that situation. Mm. And Durst, you hit it right on the head, buddy. You've always been like my stylist, you know, well, low key. Like, <laughs> we've had some fun. What sucks about getting the lifetime guarantee <laughs> with the luggage is every few years I get a hankering for something new. Right. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. But now I'm, I'm kind of. In fully I in bed this. with this Ramoa, you know. Oh, well, God. if you're if you got a lifetime guarantee, can you swap out styles throughout your life? Can you be like like a lease? Oh God, absolutely not. No, there's no way. No, only like, like a Patagonia. Lease? Can you go? I don't like this fleece anymore, and they go just grab another one, dude. Uh, really, Patagonia you can do that? Yeah, they love that. When you're like, hey, there's like a hole in this fleece, they go, all right. Uh, grab a new one. They're like, it doesn't matter. It costs us a nickel to make, and we yeah. charge you uh, two hundred and fifty dollars <laughs> per piece. So it's fine. Jesus yeah. Christ! Knock yourself out. I got a Patagonia that needs to be replaced. Couple years old. Maybe I'll try that. Ooh, treat Good yourself. Luck. Walk in there and see see what they're doing. You're gonna walk in. They're gonna shoot you right between the eyes, man. And say, there's your lifetime. <laughs> where am I going? Where am I going? Am I going to? They they go. Hey, where do you stand <laughs> on nine eleven? <laughs> where are they going? Uh, they're gonna blast you bro put a gun right to your face look where do you stand on rocks okay (laughs) i'll Uh, flip that right back on them okay and i'll go ahead and start the apologies (laughs) the giveaways the epic slams uh as you should are we giving away some ramoa is that what we're doing (laughs) um uh yeah if they hit us up and and want to give away a ramoa 
uh, via our podcast, I would mm-hmm. be happy to give away a Ramoa. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, please God. hit us up, Ramoa. God. Uh, I would like to apologize to Aaron Rodgers. I was really like kind of going after him <laughs> right out the gate. Shut uh, up, bitch. <laughs> Why are you apologizing? You know, I don't know the guy. I think he has a few kooky things, you know. He had a hot take, I guess. But that's all you talked about. Uh, that he was, that I've heard that he said. So, uh, you know. I, that's nice of you. So you're apologizing for talking about what he said? About what I've I didn't hear him say that. Are you trying to fuck this? Are you trying to fuck this guy? <laughs> yeah, what is this pivot, bro? <laughs> Who fucking cares? No, dude, because he's dude, because he stinks like shit, man. He <laughs> fucking uses natural deodorant. You can just tell. I'm sure he's fine with that. Yeah, fuck him. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, you know what? Fuck Aaron Rodgers, dude. I don't give a shit about Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> fuck your pits. Okay, flip back. And that's our first flip back of the series. <laughs> nah. He's kind of a Bay yeah. Area dude, so I'm a hype for him. <laughs> Oh, see, that's probably why he rubs crystals on his pits and shit. Oh yeah, is he Chico? Is he Chico State? No, he's Cal, right? Wasn't no, he Cal? No. I thought he was Chico State. I thought he maybe he is. He went to high Chico. school. Chico, homie from college, Matt Marshall. Maybe. Shout out, dude! Oh. Shout out to Chico. Ooh. Oh, I always shout out to Chico. I Ooh. love me some Chico, dude. Love big shout me out, some Chico. Shout out to Chico, dude. I love Chico. Um, yeah, homo baby. Sierra Nevada Bruco? Is that what we're talking mm. about? Dude, it's close. It's up there, right? Isn't it? I mean, it's, 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 <laughs> oh, dude, I went to a Sierra Nevada, Nevada Brew uh, <laughs> Company, Nevada. Dude. Nebraska, Sierra, Nebraska. Oh my Sierra God, Nebraska. we got you! I went to a Sierra Nevada uh, brewery oh, in. That's Asheville, a good idea. Dude. It was fucking like it was like beer Disneyland. It was. Yeah, dude. I went to all these other breweries, and they're fine. You know, it's mm-hmm. like a brewery. It's cool, and they have good mm-hmm. beer. Sierra Nevada, you're like, oh, yes. they're the big swinging dick in the brewery game because so, it was. Dude, when you okay, okay. <laughs> When you oh. actually t- like, like their beer is good in the bottle, but like when you go to a Sierra Nevada mm. like brewery, oh man, it is delicious. You're like naked grandma. Here's here's my question. Ooh, here's naked my question. Grandma. Is their Dang grandma it. naked? Um, <laughs> have they been bought by anybody, or are they still indie? That's a great question. I think they're still doing. Thank you, Mike. I, I think they're still independent. Mm. Isn't there? There's not a lot of that going on, right? Like InBev owns everything or something. There's like one mm-hmm. company that owns. Yeah, they snatch you up as soon as you have any kind of success. They snatch you up, and then, but that's kind of the game for everyone too. They're like, yeah. I'm gonna start yeah. a micro brew and then hopefully sell it for ten mil. And they get bit just big enough to get bought out, and then yep. they go, see ya. Yeah, and shout I'm out putting buzz all balls. my money into Bitcoin. <laughs> well, here's my question. <laughs> How do we feel? Is that a good culture to be like, I'm just going to start something to get big enough to sell it to some big conglomerate mm. to then go back and start something else or just retire? Like, mm. how do we feel about this? I guess it depends on what you want to do. Like, if you were like, I, I don't think beer I don't, is my life. Of, of course, of course. But I mean, as a cultural movement, as a cultural movement. I don't think it's good. I don't think it's good for the for the Ooh, culture hot take Ooh. Oh. yeah i would think that it, mm. you'd want it to be more you'd want to have more competition and more healthy competition so that the um capitalist free market can regulate itself mm. right dude yes thank you wow it, to, the interesting thing oh, to me is that people I are do now, like that they're now creating things I, otherwise you can't regulate the free market it's not a free market mm. thank they're you. now creating Grandma. things to be bought as Grandma. opposed to like I'm going to create this thing that I like that I want to be mine, right? To, yeah. like ref- to reflect me. They're like, hmm, what's the best way we can market this so that it eventually just gets bought? That's just fucking weird. Well, you me. tell who's not doing that. That's Sierra Nevada. They're privately owned by <laughs> exactly. a man named Ken they, Grossman. Yeah. Big shout out to Sierra Nevada. Last of a dying breed. Shout out. We're fans. of, Pe- And that's Penn and Teller. That's the same guy from Pen- Penn and Teller, right? Ken Grossman. <laughs> I heard Ken. I heard Penn. Like, what? Shout out to okay. Ken. No. Everything nope. is so weird with like consumer, like all the collabs that happen now, like nothing is nothing is itself anymore. Well, it's it's so like weird if you're to, if you're you're just trying to make a brand look good, there doesn't have to be anything behind that brand necessarily. Because no, you're just right. And that's it, not good. That's a it, hollow culture. It's it, it is mm, totally and, and 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 I know Adam's gonna chime in here because he's a yeah. polychard type guy. <laughs> yeah. But like, 
The idea. I mean, of, honestly, we didn't land on the moon. Let's talk about it. We'll get there. We'll get there. But the it's idea, of, like, I'm still let's send it. start something just to get bought. Like it, that's yeah. the that's the end game, as opposed to it's like trash. I don't like look at okay, Elon Musk, a whole thing, but got a bunch of money, talk. right? <laughs> yep. But I, I, I don't think, and I don't know, I don't think mm-hmm. he started Tesla to be like, I'm gonna start this to see if Ford wants to buy it. Mm, I'm no, gonna start he, the, he was like, mm, I'm going to do this. And he he's actively still doing went it. against him. It right. lost money forever. And like, right? mm-hmm. I, I don't know. It's just, it's till it didn't. It's kind of weird. <laughs> well, and now it's a company ba- made by robots. It's just like, I can't, my fucking, I, I turned in my right. Tesla the other day. Kyle, you can <laughs> keep going. We're going to go. <laughs> but yeah, it's a company run by robots. <laughs> we'll see you next week. No, like I, my Tesla got, my Tesla got picked up on the side of the road the other day by someone. I just left it An on the Android. side of the road. I just right. left it on the side of the road, dude. What does that even mean? What do you mean? I left it. I got in another car and went back yeah. to my hotel. And then now it's supposedly it's in Vallejo. Why did you give your car away? Did it need fixing? It it broke down. It broke down. Yeah. Tesla did? Uh, yeah. So yeah, the good. Tesla what broke that, down. Yeah. What do you mean? What do you mean broke down? It broke the the front motor went out. Right, Ooh, so okay. it started. Oh, it started shitting is on a me. Fully clothed grandma. That's not Ramoa. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, and then it. that's not very Ramoa, is it? It's not yeah. very Ramoa. <laughs> I'll say that. Uh, yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. Man. And then Jersey, now, though, <laughs> what you're saying, the like, you either have to come into the game wanting to be bought, or you have to come into the game wanting to become the. The fucking biggest fat or, cat. Or, the buyer. or go ahead, Adam. Just, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or you could just do something that you love and try yes, to find your lane you. and then just have a life and a career. Like you don't need to be the biggest or the best. And be okay not making gazillion dollars. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Like, what are you focusing on? What's your yeah. output going to be? That being said, I hope Ashland sells soon <laughs> for a billion dollars. To Budweiser. Dollars. Sure. To Budweiser. Right. And that's what they're doing. Uh, did you guys watch Aziz's special that came out the other day on Netflix? I didn't even Hated know. Hated it. No, <laughs> didn't even yet. know. I watched didn't it. Didn't even know. <laughs> and uh, he had a funny thing where he like ran into Frank Ocean. He was talking about how everybody who has any co- any kind of like social capital is like capitalizing on that and like branding and doing this and starting companies and da da da. And he's like, I'm just doing stand up and I or acting and I feel like I'm kind of falling behind when I should just have like a fucking serial company or whatever it is. And he sees mm. Frank Ocean at a party and he's like, Frank Ocean, a guy who like just makes albums, like doesn't really sell out. And he goes up to Frank and is like, you know, like, what, what how, do, how are you doing what you're doing? And he goes, you just got to be more comfortable not making a lot of money. Mm. And he yeah. was like, mm. oh, <laughs> yes, sir. Mm. Yeah, I guess I never considered that. And like, that right. is the third option where it's like, yeah, I'm not going to start sport clips. I'm just going to have a barber shop, and that's it. There's no like, bigger grand thing i'm not hope hoping that fucking- yeah unless you want to start sport clips you know what i mean like some people are like yeah i do exactly. want to start a huge yeah. business and man other people are less ambitious and they don't give a shit they don't want to but, do that but so. what's interesting to me is the people who do like i crunch the numbers and actually barber shops have a like make good money for what you put in and, and they don't give a fuck about barber shops so they just open 50 barber shops in the tri-state area and grow from there or like i, I don't know it just seems kind of like and that's not very ramoa uh, now yeah. is it <laughs> naked grandma grandma and this was a <laughs> before we go before we go i just want to say <laughs> this has been our weirdest episode <laughs> well, yeah you think Dude, so? it, was, it got well we started off fucking Hot, 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 heat, poly yeah. charged I like, out the I, building. I, I was having fun. I'm not saying it wasn't good. What I'm saying is, looking back, dude, that was the best podcast that's ever existed. <laughs> Move over, smartless. I don't disagree. That's n- hey, look, I got a naked grandma, and 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 look, totally, I'm, I'm hey, in, sh- I'm in, totally. Look. Shout out, shout out to the Netherlands, man, for their diversity. They're beautiful people. I can't yep. wait to visit. If Amsterdam hey, is there, Kyle, I'm he'll not sure go. I'm going to believe you with that. <laughs> but yeah. if it is there, Blake I'm will going. Never go. <laughs> Lot, hey. what? I don't know. I told. I don't know. I don't know if Amsterdam's in the Netherlands, but Amsterdam fucking rocks, baby. <laughs> and sh- shout out to uh, it is. It's there. Bicycles. It's there. 
They ride a lot of bicycles, Blake. It fucking rocks, dude. It's my favorite place. Dude, uh, bicycles, no helmets. Wow. Okay. <laughs> And now that's a naked grandma. Okay. I, oh, wow. Okay. And that's another episode of... Netherlands! Netherlands! <laughs> this, this is important. 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 Thank you, Donkey.